Hello, and welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar titled Smart Start, a guide to second semester recruitment and retention. This session will offer tips for recruiting members and keeping them active, and will explain why it's never too late to recruit more members. My name is Donnie Iorio, and I serve as this year's Phi Beta Lambda National President. I will be on the webinar today along with FBLA PBL's membership director, director Lisa Smothers. We will pro provide recruitment strategies ideas for keeping members involved and will focus on how members and advisors can use national programs including FBLA PBL week to m motivate both current and m current members and recruit new ones. I will also serve as today's moderator. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar in the top right of your screen. We will go over questions at the end of this presentation. Just as a reminder, we will be recording this webinar, and it will be available for download on our YouTube channel tomorrow. And don't forget to update your social media status to let everyone know that you're taking part in today's webinar. Okay, I'll now turn it over to our membership director, Lisa Smothers. Lisa? Thank you, Donnie. The new year is a perfect time to set goals, not only personally, but for your chapter as well. One of those goals should be to recruit new members this semester. Some of you might be thinking, but isn't it too late to recruit? We did that in the fall. It's never too late to recruit. Recruitment is an ongoing process and requires the dedication of national officers, local chapter officers, state officers, and even individual members. Chapters that are successful in increasing membership numbers have found that the key to growth is a well-planned and aggressive recruitment strategy. Set a goal for your chapter. How many new members would you like to gain? It's always good to overshoot your goals and set high expectations. Next, make a game plan. Create a list of steps you will take in order to recruit your new members. What kind of people are you looking to attract? How will you advertise? What will you say once you have their attention? Now here's Donnie to explain how to promote the benefits of FBLA PBL. Thanks, Lisa. Before your officers and chapter members can recruit new members, they must be proud of FBLA PBL. Ask them, why did you join? Or, if they're an officer, why did you decide to run for office? Tell them to have a prepared elevator speech, no more than 30 seconds to a minute long, and to give anyone, to give anyone who asks about FBLA PBL. The mission is an excellent place to start in any elevator speech. Our mission is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. Here's an example of an elevator speech that I would use. Uh, this is going to be more specific towards Phi Beta Lambda. Phi Beta Lambda is the collegiate division of Future Business Leaders of America. We're the largest and oldest business student organization in the world with about 250,000 members. We have different conferences all over the United States, both in the fall and in the summer, in addition to state and regional conferences that take place in between. In addition, the National Leadership Conference, which is held each summer in a different city, hosts an array of competitive events, all of which have competitive scholarships that can be awarded at the end of the conference. Coach your officers and members on how to talk to prospective members. They should be curious, be brief, be courteous, be direct, and most importantly, be enthusiastic. Next, Lisa will talk about some things that you can do to promote your recruitment events. Lisa? Thank you, Donnie. Active, long-term members are vital to your chapter's success. They are your source of leadership, serve as important role models for your new members, and carry the torch into the next year. Get them involved in your recruitment activities. Have them distribute brochures and information packets about your chapter activities to potential members who visit your meetings. Tabling is among the most effective recruitment strategies. Members could take shifts at an informational table in high traffic areas, such as different sporting events, in the student union or cafeteria, or at an activities fair. An effective table or booth is colorful, interactive, and informative. Try having candy at the table, showing a membership video, or displaying a chapter scrapbook. Our members have grown up with technology, so use it to your advantage and publicize your recruitment events where students spend their time. 
on social media. Use social media to get your recruitment message out to potential members and encourage your existing members to like, share, and retweet your posts. It helps to amplify your message. Connect with prospective members on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That way you'll have multiple ways to let them know about upcoming events and activities. And don't forget to post the pictures afterwards. If you've not done so already with your current members, record their cell phone numbers, email addresses, and social media profiles. And don't forget to connect with the National Center on Facebook at facebook.com slash futurebusinessleaders and on Twitter at twitter.com slash FBLA underscore national. Donnie, back to FBLA PBL offers several incentives for local chapters and members to help build their membership. February Frenzy. This is our new national program, sponsored by your FBLA and PBL national officer teams. It is designed to help chapters recruit new members and engage existing members in new and creative ways. Sign up and ignite your chapter membership numbers. FBLA and PBL members of chapters that successfully complete the February Frenzy program and attend the 2013 National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, California will receive special conference ribbons that designate them as February Frenzy participants. For FBLA, the designated project manager will receive a special recruitment pin. Check the homepage for more details. The deadline for this program is February 28th, so there is still plenty of time to participate. Five or ten new members are rewarded with a certificate of recognition through the Membership Madness and Membership Mania programs. Chapters are recognized with certificates of recognition for maintaining or increasing their membership totals from the previous year or signing up all students in one class for FBLA PBL. Please note, you may only receive 100% participation for one class each year. Please take advantage of these programs. You will build your membership numbers and as well as receive recognition. Remember, April 1st is the deadline for these awards. Back to you, Lisa. Thanks, Donnie. Many state and local chapters are adding a blog to their local chapter websites. Blogs are a great place to post recruitment videos and important timely updates to your local chapter membership, including the dates and times of local chapter meetings and special events. Once there, you can link the information to your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts and send it to some friends to pass on to their friends. Recruitment at its best. FBLA PBL also has a national blog that contains information on programs, officer articles, and links to successful projects and activities. Check it out when you get a chance. Donnie? Two of the biggest benefits that FBLA PBL members receive from joining our organization are leadership skills and travel. Make plans now to attend this year's National Leadership Conference which will be held in Anaheim, California, where members and advisors will network with business leaders, gain new leadership skills, and travel to the home of Mickey Mouse. The dates for the 2013 conferences are PBL June 22nd through June 25th and FBLA June 27th through June 30th. Go ahead and start making those plans to attend now. Remember, in order to be eligible to compete at the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim this summer, FBLA national dues must be paid by March 1st, and PBL national dues must be paid by April 15th. We've just covered strategies for recruitment, and now let's move on to retention. However, keep in mind that when it comes to membership, retention is just another word for recruitment. Always invite prospective members to attend your day-to-day -day activities and events, such as chapter meetings and community service activities. Let's talk about promoting your meetings. Great flyer or poster locations for advertising chapter meetings include libraries, departmental bulletin boards, and progressive hangouts. Chalk general meeting announcements in high traffic areas around campus. And as was previously mentioned, use your social media networks to get the word out. Make the most of your meetings by keeping members interested and engaged at the meetings that they attend. Invite guest speakers, plan interactive activities, present awards, recognize members for achievements, or have your meetings hosted by other groups and organizations, and invite their members to join. Don't just hold a meeting for meeting's sake. 
set out to make the best use of each member's time. Back to you, Donnie. FBLA PBL offers a program called the Business Achievement Awards, called BAA for FBLA, the Middle Level Achievement Awards, or MAP for the Middle Level, and the Career and Membership Achievement Awards, otherwise known as CMAP. These unique recognition programs are designed to grow and retain local chapter membership through activities and projects with a special emphasis on career development and preparation for the business world. Encourage all of your members to take part in these programs. Remember, the BAA and CMAP programs, for the BAA and CMAP programs, an advisor must register in the advisor area of the website before students can log on. These two programs are offered online and all forms are interactive. That means no paperwork. If you need any help registering your students for the BAA, MAP, or CMAP, contact Ms. Lisa Smothers at membership dir at fbla.org. The entry forms for the MAP program are located in the Chapter Management Handbook. March 1st is the deadline for all three programs, with the exception of the America level of the BAA program. The deadline for this level is April 25th. Our curriculum-related programs provide members with unique opportunities to apply the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. Let's focus on two programs that your local chapter can take advantage of. America Saves is a program of the Consumer Federation of America, or CFA, that is centered around America Saves Week, which takes place from February 25th through March 2nd. And it is a national effort at teaching and motivating students to save money. CFA provides training to advisors and students, materials, resources, and many events are even sponsored by business partners and include cash awards. iSafe, a nonprofit foundation and worldwide leader in internet education, offers online training for members in service learning activities ranging from conducting student assemblies to speaking to parent groups. Information on these programs and all of our partners can be found in the Chapter Management Handbook or online under Membership Benefits. Back to you, Lisa. Thanks, Donnie. During FBLA PBL Week, February 10th through the 16th, our chapters throughout the country are celebrating by publicizing their activities that include everything from FBLA PBL T-Shirt Day to Advisor Appreciation Day. Remember, celebrating this week can serve as a springboard to celebrating the entire month of February for Career and Technical Education, or CTE Month. How can you get ready? Continue to plan different activities throughout the month. It could be sponsoring a guest speaker at a meeting, hosting a chapter etiquette dinner, job shadowing, sponsoring a business fair, or manning an informational booth to get the word out to prospective members. Other events for FBLA PBL Week include Dress to Win Wednesday on February 13th, where all members are encouraged to wear professional attire, take a group photo, and post it to our national Facebook page. And don't forget, it's not too late to recruit. Use this week of fun activities to invite students to participate. Host a pizza party, movie night, field trip, or any other fun activity to attract more members. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. Get noticed. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting them. This is a good opportunity to take pictures and write news stories. Plan a group outing during FBLA PBL Week, such as attending a professional sports game, and then take a group photo for the newspaper. And why not make your outing a recruitment event? Don't forget to invite prospective members to your outings and activities. Take it a step further and make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the year. Media looks for news that is timely, includes high-resolution photos, and is of interest to the community. Student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on when preparing news releases for the community, school newspaper, or website. Oftentimes, journalists look for a hook to a story. Instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use words like local, first ever, best, or largest. Donnie? Saturday, February 16th, is National FBLA PBL Community Service Day. 
If you have not planned something, there is still plenty of time. You could even plan a project for later in the month, but promote it to your members now. Service activities help your chapters involved and contribute directly to the community. Members recognize the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks with business and community leaders. Service learning helps your members learn about real-world issues, concerns, and needs. It helps match members' strengths with community needs, provides practical experience in planning and organizing. It will help your members develop leadership skills, build recognition and goodwill for the chapter, and it will help teach satisfaction of a job well done. Activities could include working with the March of Dimes, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a blood drive, developing community improvement projects, or developing a project with any other service organization. This year, your Professional Division National Officer Team is again sponsoring Professional Division Engagement Day. During this day, chapters are encouraged to plan activities that involve local business leaders. For example, invite a Professional Division member and other business and community leaders to speak at a local chapter meeting to share his or her experience or to talk about some aspect of business. This fall semester, we have hung out with several local and state chapters and have been very busy fielding photo call, or phone calls and text messages from our officer hotlines. If you would like to arrange a Skype call with myself or Nikitas, fill out the request form at go.fbla.org slash FBLA Skype request or email any of the division presidents or vice presidents directly to request a Google Hangout session. Okay, we've had a number of questions submitted, so we'll start getting to those now. If we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any question that we were not able to get to. The first question, um, when, during FBLA week is, when during FBLA week is Professional Division Engagement Day? Uh, Lisa, can you answer that? Um, this activity is sponsored by the Professional Division National Officers, and it's set for Valentine's Day, February 14th, which is the Thursday of FBLA PBL week. Great. Uh, this question is from Ruth in Wisconsin. How can I get members to join now that it is halfway through the year? What are the benefits of joining now? Um, I, I think I'll answer this one. Sorry for the silence there. Um, I think one thing to really push is that there's no disadvantage to registering right now for FBLA, PBL. You're still able to attend the conferences, and even if in some states you're ineligible to compete, that doesn't mean that you're going to take any less um, away from a conference. We still have the Institute for Leaders that you're eligible for, and you're still eligible to participate in our workshop and networking sessions as well as attend our opening and closing sessions. So that's something that's really important. Also, it's always great to get involved now, so that way you'll have a member that's more willing to get involved next year. Um, this question's for myself. How does a Google Hangout work, and what is the benefit for a chapter? Well, I'm glad you asked. I wish uh, I knew your name, because I, I would thank you for this question. But a Google Hangout, think of it like a Skype except you can have actually 10 people on the call at one time. And it seems like that can get really confusing and really loud, uh, but really we've used it for communication between all the national officers, between national officers and staff, and also between national officers, staff, and local and state chapters even. And we're really finding it an effective tool because the number one thing it eliminates that a conference call can't necessarily eliminate is when you're on a conference call, you can be doing something else. For example, you can be driving down the road, plan something on top of a conference call. Uh, with your, your officers might have planned something else, and they're thinking, oh, I can just mute myself and listen. Well, with the Google Hangout, you're able to have that face-to-face -face communication, and it really takes people's attention solely to what you're talking about. Um, how do we set it up? It's really simple. You have to have a Google Plus account. Uh, and then from there, you just need to add people's email addresses. You don't have to install any software. You just have to install a standard plugin. But if you have any questions, please feel free to email myself. My email is pdl 
prez, P-R-E-S, at fbla.org. I would be more than happy to walk you through how to set up a Google Hangout, and then we can try one as well. So I look forward to that email, and please, um, if you have any questions regarding that technology, please um, send me a message. The next question is also uh, stated for me, what social media tools are useful for local and state officers? Um, I think this is a great question. Now, if we're talking just about social media, um, I would say in order of importance, it would be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, well, why do I say that? Facebook is the most engaging social media tool we have out there right now. It has the largest audience, so it's the highest likelihood that your members are already going to be on Facebook. It also has the highest security um, as far as being able to moderate things before they're posted live, as well as being able to kind of just uh, be able to approve or deny anything and also set up uh, even filters so it will filter explicit if someone posts that. Um, so I would definitely say Facebook is the best media tool we have for social media. Twitter is great too um, because Twitter get a message out there within only 140 characters. So that's great to be able to get out a short message and um, be active on people's uh, tweet streams. And then Instagram's great because, you know, a photo is worth a thousand words. So it really does allow you to get those photos from conferences out. Your members are already on these social media tools, so um, it's not something that you're going to have to teach them how to use. And it's great because your local and state officers are going to be really engaging on it. So that's what I'd say regarding the social media. Um, another question is, why should I encourage my members to attend the Institute for Leaders? Um, I mentioned that earlier. But the Institute for Leaders is held in collaboration with the National Leadership Conference um, the day before and then that first day of the NLC. And really, it's just one of the best experiences I've had in this organization at a conference because you're surrounded by are other leaders in the organization that are taking the time to go and better their leadership development skills. So instead of going to Disneyland that day before the conference, they're going to network with the other leaders in our organization, learn how to make a stronger chapter, learn how to be um, entrepreneurs. Really, they get to hear from some great keynote speakers as well. Um, we bring in an external company that specializes in leadership development. And by the end of that conference, not only have you made a lot of friends for the NLC, but you've made contacts that you'll use for years to come. Um, I still remember it's the first IFL I went to years and years ago, and I'm still in contact with many of those, um, many of those attendees. In addition, a lot of um, your national officer candidates will attend the Institute for Leaders. So if you are considering running for office, it's a great opportunity to um, learn a little bit and interact with potential members. And it's also a good opportunity to meet your potential national officer candidates if you're not running for office. So um, that's what I'd say. I uh, want to remind you one last chance to submit any questions by using the GoToWebinar uh, toolbar in the top right of your screen. We'll pause here for just a second um, if there's any more questions to come in. Otherwise, we'll end the webinar. All right. Well, thank you all very much for participating and attending today. Please don't miss next month's live FBLA PBL kickoff broadcast, which will be hosted by our three division presidents. Uh, this is going to be streamed live on our YouTube channel, so be sure to keep up with our email blast and our social media as we'll be announcing the links and areas where you can ask questions in advance as well as live during the presentation. Also, don't forget that you can find all of our past webinars archived on our YouTube channel, as well as the national website, Media Gallery. They're a great resource to include in your next chapter meeting. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Once again, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to contact myself, Lisa, or anyone else at the National Center or part of the National Officer Teams.